Are you hitting a wall with your resume wondering why it's not getting the traction you expected in your job hunt? Could it be getting lost in the maze of the applicant tracking systems, also known as the ATS? Well, it might be time to switch up your strategy. In this video, you'll learn how to create a resume that's not just ATS friendly, but compelling, personalized, and absolutely eye-catching. But we're gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna show you how to leverage ChatGPT to streamline the entire resume writing process. Plus, we just launched an exclusive podcast for those who are serious about staying ahead and making informed moves in your career. Stick around to learn where you can access this exclusive new podcast. This is something you'll definitely want to be a part of. If you're new here, I'm Professor Heather Austin, a career strategy expert, helping you secure that game-changing job offer. Now, don't forget to tap the subscribe button below and give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you're ready to create your winning resume. Let's jump right in. Now, before I share the exact steps on how to create an ATS-friendly resume using ChatGPT, you need to first understand what an ATS is and how ChatGPT comes into play. Now, an ATS is a software you used by lots of companies to screen resumes before they even reach a human recruiter. Now, these systems can scan for specific keywords, skills, and formats to filter out candidates. Where ChatGPT comes in, it can quickly analyze job descriptions, suggest the most relevant keywords, and even help phrase your experience in a way that resonates with these ATS algorithms. So if you don't already have a ChatGPT account, go to openai.com and select the Try ChatGPT link at the top of the page to get started. Okay, so with your ChatGPT account created, the next thing I want you to do is download your free resume template and example by going to heatheraustin.online slash resume or by using the link in the description below. This is going to be the start starting point for your new ATS friendly resume. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into the first step to writing an ATS friendly resume using ChatGPT, and that is to identify keywords and skills required for the position. So keywords and skills are the driving force behind an ATS friendly resume. There are certain terms and phrases that ATS algorithms are programmed to seek out. They often include specific skills, job titles, certifications, software, or industry related term. ATS systems rank candidates based on how well their resume matches the job criteria. So the better the match, the higher the chances your resume will be reviewed by an actual person. So let's say, for example, there's a job opening and 100 applicants submit their resumes. Now, of these 100, only maybe about 20 might have included some of the keywords and skills that the ATS is looking for. Now, even fewer, let's say just five, have really nailed it by incorporating the exact keywords and skills, which in turn aligns their resume perfectly with the job description. Now, these five are likely the ones that will make it on to the interview process. And well, the rest, despite possibly being qualified candidates, might not even get a second glance because they missed the mark on including those crucial keywords in their resume. So let's jump over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to pick out the top keywords and skills in the job posting. So the very first thing you wanna do is you have your job description in hand, right? So here is a project manager job description that I found on LinkedIn. I've simply just selected this job description. I'm gonna then do a command C or a copy to copy that job description. I'm gonna then jump over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it something like, hey, can you identify the top five to 10 keywords or, and skills from this job description? It's for a project manager position. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I can paste the job description in and press enter. Now, ChatGPT is going to analyze this job description. Here's the thing, I'm using the ChatGPT classic version, but you can also use 
used the ChatGPT paid version and get even better results. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. I'm gonna scroll down and here it is. It's, it's typing in the top five to 10 uh, key skills or keywords from this position. You'll notice I have things like project management methodologies, leadership and team management, stakeholder management, risk management, quality assurance, yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on. ChatGPT will analyze the text and provide you with a list of the most relevant keywords and skills. Now with this list, you're going to jump over to your resume, change the title at the top to the name of the position and add three of the key skills right under the title. You'll also wanna spend some time strategically incorporating other terms into your resume, especially in your professional summary and of course in your work experience section. Now this tailors your resume specifically for the role and it dramatically improves your chances of getting past the ATS. Remember, it's important to include these keywords, but they must be relevant to your own experiences. ATS algorithms are getting smarter and they can detect when keywords are just randomly stuffed into a resume. Now let's jump into the second step to writing an ATS friendly resume using ChatGPT, and that is to craft a compelling professional resume summary. So the resume summary is the first thing the ATS and recruiters will read after your title and your three key skills. It's your chance to make a memorable impression. It needs to be a concise, powerful statement that summarizes your professional identity. It's really where you highlight your most significant achievements, skills, and what you bring to the table for the prospective employer. So let's jump back over to ChatGPT using our same project manager position. Okay, so we're gonna type something like, hey, can you now help me write a professional resume summary for this position? Highlight my five years of experience in digital marketing, show how my professional background and expertise can address the company's major pain points, such as increasing online engagement and driving digital sales. Of course, you'll need to tailor this to your experience. We then go on to say, mention my notable accomplishment of, and then I put in here, boosting social media engagement by 40% within a year. You'll tailor that to you. Conclude by emphasizing my expertise in, and then give some of your, what your expertise are. So I have data-driven marketing strategies and SEO. And then I also say, incorporate keywords from the job posting. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Remember, you can always use ChatGPT4 if you want for better results. Okay, so here we go. We have a summary that uh, ChatGPT has given us. So with the results that you're given, this summary is a little bit long. What I would recommend that you do is keep tailoring this summary so that it's a little bit shorter. I like summaries that are maybe four to five sentences long. And then you could also include some sort of career highlight section under that summary. Now, here's an insider tip. Chat GPT works great when you give it more context and examples. So for an even better response, feel free to use the professional summary from the free resume example and ask Chat GPT something like, hey, here's an example resume summary you can reference for guidance. This is for a custom manager position. Then paste the summary and ask Chat GPT to write you a summary for the position. Now, it's important to remember that ChatGPT will give you a great starting point. However, you may need to revise your prompt or ask additional questions to get the results you're looking for. For example, sometimes ChatGPT will put I's, me's, and my's in its results. If that's the case, you'll need to ask something like, can you please remove the pronouns as this is a professional resume summary. In addition to your free resume template and example, I have another free resource for you. If you need assistance with AI powered prompts for ChatGPT, take a look at this cheat sheet right here. It's packed with proven prompts to optimize your job search, enhance your resume and cover letter, master your interviews and much, much more. I'll place a link for you in the description below. Up next, let's talk about how to optimize your work experience section for an ATS friendly resume using ChatGPT. So this is where you get to showcase how your past experience makes you the perfect fit for the job you're applying for. Remember, it's not just about listing your past jobs, it's about highlighting your achievements and how you've added value in your previous position. This is really where ChatGPT can play a significant role. So you'll start by listing your most recent job, including
including the company name, your position, and the duration of your employment. Now, under each role, you'll typically add bullet points detailing your responsibilities and your achievement. But here's the cool thing. You're going to use ChatGPT to help you refine and enhance your bullet points. You'll input your basic job responsibilities and achievements, and then you'll use ChatGPT to help you rephrase these to be more impactful and ATS friendly. Let's jump back over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So you'll type something like, can you help me develop four to five bullet points on my resume for the position of project manager? I'd like them to be impactful and include relevant keywords. Here's what I did. I managed timelines and budgets. I led a team. I coordinated with other departments, I implemented new softwares, and I improved efficiency and cost savings. And then you'll go ahead and press enter and see what ChatGPT comes up with for the results. Now, I can't emphasize this enough. Remember to add your personal touch to the AI's suggestion. It's critical that your resume authentically reflects your experiences and your achievements. Tailoring these points to align with the job you're applying for will make your resume stand out in the ATS as well as to the hiring manager. Hey, and real quick, your support means the world to me and my team, and it allows us to keep making videos just like this for you. So if you're enjoying this video, be sure to tap the like button down below and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Now, moving on to the final touches of your resume, we have two critical sections that need your attention, your education and certification, and then of course your technical and professional skills. So these areas are often more than just formality. They can be decisive factors in your application. Let's start first with your education and certification detail. This section isn't just a list of your degrees. It's an opportunity to highlight relevant academic coursework and accomplishments, and of course, specialized training. So you'll start by listing the name of the school that you attended or are currently attending, followed by the location, then list the degree or major and your graduation date or your expected graduation date. If you don't already have a formal education but completed some coursework, you can still list that in the education section. Or if you have licenses or certifications, you can create a section for that and list those there. And if you're struggling to put this section together, jump back over to ChatGPT and ask it something like, like, I need to optimize the education section of my resume for the project manager position. My qualifications include a Bachelor of Science degree in marketing from ABC University and a certification in digital analytics. Can you help me structure this section to highlight its relevance to my target job? Next, we have the technical and professional skills section. This part of your resume is your chance to showcase the specific abilities that make you a fit for the position. But remember, this is more than just a list of skills. It's about relevance and clarity. Now you can place things like project management skills like Agile, Scrum, and even Trello. You can also add web conferencing tools like Zoom, Teams, Skype, or Google Meet, or instant messaging tools like Slack. And to have ChatGPT help you with this section, you can ask it something like, hey, ChatGPT, I'm updating the technical skills section of my resume for the project manager position. My skills include budget planning, Agile, methodologies and a variety of project management software programs. Could you help me phrase these skills in a way that's an impactful and relevant for this role, including any industry specific keywords that I should feature? Now your education and certifications section, as well as your technical and professional skills section, not only add weight to your resume, but also provide a comprehensive picture of your professional readiness. So with these main sections of your resume, resume out of the way, let's dive into some of the nuances of formatting your resume to be ATS friendly while still appealing visually to the human eye. So to give you a huge head start on this, make sure you download my free ATS friendly resume template and example. I'll include a special link for you down below. So your number one goal when it comes to the formatting of your resume is to avoid complex layouts. You want to keep it simple and easy to read. Let's jump back over to the computer and take a look at the formatting of my resume template. So this resume template
template uses a Cambria font, but feel free to experiment with other clean, straightforward fonts like Arial or even Calibri and keep your text size around 10 to 11 points. In this example, I do include a header on page two of the resume at the very top with the first name and then of course the phone number. And then I also include a bottom border under the name and the phone number. Other than that, it's best to avoid any headers or footers because some ATS systems can't read them. The other thing I'd like you to keep your eye on is the margins of this resume. You can start with a one inch margin on all sides and then adjust from there. You also wanna structure your resume to include standard sections like your contact information, your professional summary, your work experience section. You'll also have other things like your education. You could include a professional skill section, even a volunteer experience section, awards and honors, uh, professional memberships, even language competencies. So this resume example really shows you what's possible with a resume. You may only have a one page resume. In that case, you're not going to include all these sections. Now regarding the structure of your resume, you're gonna wanna stick with a reverse chronological order. This means listing the most relevant positions first and working backwards from there. It's a format that most ATS systems and hiring managers are accustomed to. The other thing I want you to be cautious of is using tables or graphics. Now they might look nice, but they can really confuse the ATS systems. If you want to add a little bit of flair, do it in a way that doesn't interfere with the text readability by the ATS. Now for the human touch, once your resume passes the ATS, it needs to catch the recruiter's eye. A bit of subtle color for headings or section lines can make your resume stand out without overdoing it. Just remember to keep the overall look professional, use bullet points for clarity, and make your achievements easier to scan. Now, a good balance of white space to text makes your resume much easier on the eyes. And finally, save your resume in a commonly used format like PDF, unless the job posting specifically states otherwise. Now, this ensures that the formatting remains consistent no matter who opens it. And remember, if you're not familiar with AI just yet or using ChatGPT, make sure you grab your 25 proven ChatGPT prompts for job seekers to help you get started. There's a link for you in the description below. Now that we've nailed down the format, let's tackle one of the most crucial aspects of the resume writing process, and that is tailoring it for the specific position you're applying for. So remember, customizing your resume for each job application is a game changer. And this is really where ChatGPT works its magic. So each job you apply for is unique and has its own set of requirements and desired skills. This means that the one size fits all approach does not work anymore if you want to stand out. So by now you have a basic resume structure, you've optimized most of your sections and you have a pretty good format. So from here, what you're going to do is just need help putting the final customization on your resume. So we're gonna jump back over to ChatGPT and we're gonna ask it something like, hey, here's a current copy of my resume. Based on the project manager description that I shared earlier, can you provide areas of improvement and suggestions on how to enhance my resume for this position? And more importantly, how can I better tailor my resume to this position. And then you're going to give it your resume. Now, at the end of the day, ChatGPT does a fantastic job at providing a solid foundation. But remember, personal touch is key. You wanna make sure you infuse your personality into the resume, use the suggestions that AI gives you as a starting point, but then add your own experiences and achievements. This ensures that your resume isn't just a collection of keywords, but really a true reflection of your professional story. Now, remember to grab your free resources in the description below. And click or tap the video right here to learn why finding a job is harder than ever before and what big job search mistakes you might be making. And if you like this video, be sure to click the like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.